Oh, I don't know. I said, yeah. I'm not sure yet, no. Yeah. No, no, he played out wide, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, at the moment. I mean, like, we, we played him out wide on the left because, like I said, he, he was struggling with certain things at the start of the year in terms of his body, and it just made sense for us to play him in those wide areas. And, um, you know, we had Sonny who could play, obviously, through the middle, and he was going well at the time. And now it suits us to have Richie through the middle and, and, and you know, Sonny out on the left. But... You know, with Sonny going, there's always opportunity to play Richie out there as well. I mean, that's where he played the majority of his sort of Everton Premier League career and scored a lot of goals out there. So there's always that possibility as well. So, again, I, I like players who kind of are multifunctional in that way. And if you look at sort of our front players, whether that's Sonny, Kulosevsky, Johnson, uh, Richie, they've all played just about every position up there. Um, and... You know, at the moment, I think us having Richie at nine is, is working well for us and we'll continue with that, but there's always a possibility it could change. I think it's a bit harsh. I don't think it's all or nothing. Nothing's a fairly low point. You can't get away with nothing in the Premier League. I mean, he, he still, even at the start of the season for us, he was working hard and, you know, he was a big contributor to, to sort of our start of the season. But I think, like I said, mate, the human beings, it's, it's, you know, I'm sure you had bad days at work, mate, and you've probably written some things and you're going, I wish I hadn't done that, but I was feeling crap on the day. And, well, <laughs> just, just some of it, not all of it. Uh, no, but it, it is, and, and footballers are no different. We can't expect them. But I think there is always, and that's a responsibility they have, is that when a footballer enters a, a field of play, the presumption from everyone on the outside is that, you know what, if you're ready to play, we expect you to play. And, and that's the reality of being a professional footballer. But the flip side of that is that we know that that's not always the case. And um, Richie's just in a good space at the moment. Like I said, and I think as much of it is physical as it is anything else, and, you know, obviously scoring goals and, and, and playing well helps. But, you know, when that side of you as a professional athlete, when you feel good about that side of your, your, your game, then it kind of filters through to everything else. I don't know, because um, th there's just so many moving parts here. Look, obviously, if we can do business early, it's great for us. Um, for not not just because of, obviously, losing Romero, but I just think, you know, there's a whole month there. Why waste it? You know, if you can bring them in early, even if there's no, you know, even if they don't play, you can bet them into training, you can bet them into our style of football, because it's not like we're going to sign somebody and they're going to, you know, hit the ground running. We, maybe they could, but, you know, so, whereas if you leave it to the end of sort of January, then... Potentially, it's not till sort of mid to end, February, end of February where they get up to speed with things. And depending where they're coming from, sort of the league they're coming from. So there's a whole lot, range of moving parts. Ideally, yes, I'd love to do something early in the window. Um, but I guess even me saying that puts a challenge on, on us because then the other clubs know that we want to do something early. So you just, yeah, you've got to play the game and, and see what happens. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that it'll be sort of you know, much earlier than the end of the window when we do bring someone in. He's training now, so he's, he's ready, he's available, and, um, you know, uh, he's there, mate. So if uh, opportunity comes, um, we'll give it to him. Yeah. And, and, and look, it, it is what it is. And, and I think I said that before, you know, when somebody was saying, you know, all these players come back and I'm saying it never works that way or rarely does it work that way. And, and look, I'm not the only one. And you, you can see there are other clubs going through it as well. Um, yeah, we've been going through it for quite a while, to be fair. But I really like the attitude that sort of everyone's taken with it in terms of internally um, coaches and players and 
we've still been disappointed with our losses. We've still been disappointed if we're not playing our football. And I think that's the most important thing because <coughs> I'm sure there'll come a point where, you know, we will be much healthier in terms of our playing stocks. And, um, you know, but I, I kind of like the fact that, you know, we're winning games of football and playing decent football without some of those players. So I think it, even for them, it's good to see the team winning without them, you know, because it kind of hopefully motivates them to come back but also makes them realise that, you know, it's what, something they want to be a part of. So, like I said, it is what it is. We've just got to get on with it. It's another challenge for us, uh, you know, this week with, with two games in a short space of time and, you know, smallish sort of squad available. But we'll tackle it like we've tackled everything else. Uh, it's, it's not a it's not a fight. It's just you know it's a discussion and again. There's all parties. Ultimately, we're, we're at the sort of uh, behest of federation, and you know we'll just take our cues from there. You know, I want it, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I rank it pretty high. Yeah, I think it's pretty important. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah, probably. Yeah, I know, but you know. A lot of European fans see the Euros as fairly important. Well, it's the same for the Asian Cup or the African Nations. So, um, no, it is, you know, it's obviously, you know, people can talk about the timing, but, you know, with the amount of, well, I said during the week, the amount of football players are playing, at, you know, all tournaments, the timing, even in the off season, you know, you worry about your players because they don't get a break. So, it's uh, it's part of the calendar, but um, no, I hope. Sonny goes on and uh, finishes runner up to Australia again, mate. I'd, yeah, I'd be really happy about that. <laughs> and just one, you talked about the challenge of finding players and, and then you know, getting the assistance. Do you manage it just through the, the, the press line team and the, the, the manager and sort of the rest of the staff? How do you manage assessing them and what's going on with them? No, I, don't, I think um, I, I, I don't see it that way. I, I think every team's. In the Premier League's got its challenges. They're different challenges for sure, and um, that's what, that's a bit you enjoy. I, you know, I don't don't think there's an extra sort of layer of information you need. It's um, you know you certainly know how they're going to play. Um, sometimes it's harder when teams are less predictable and, and not less predictable, but you know change on a weekly basis. You think how they're going to tackle us, but you know with Brighton there's going to be a real challenge for us there. And you know they want to dominate the ball. We want to dominate the ball. Um, you know they they're going to be aggressive on the press. We're going to be aggressive on the press. So it's it's I think it's one you look forward to rather than sort of um, have any trepidation about. And just finally at the back, please. When do you say that, mate? After the uh, last game of the season. Did he? Yeah. Okay. You know what my players say at the darts or after games is just, mate, I just don't care. That's their assessment. You ask them, uh, like I said, Richie's going well and uh, long may it continue. And the fact that you've recorded Aaron Scarlett and Nick Brooks um, to get five out of all of those games on, on Friday night and with the seats that you have that you know you're getting with the, with the noise and maybe even with the defensive game of going through Dane and Harry. No, nah, two separate issues. Uh, Dane, like I said, we brought him back because you know, the loan wasn't working out, obviously. So, you know, we... He's a talented young player. We, we've got high hopes for him. We sent him out on loan like all our other players to play. For whatever reason, that didn't eventuate. So it made no sense. It's bringing him back into our training environment and uh, give him a chance to, to maybe get an opportunity here. Cool. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Thank you.